All right, Shalom, um, Israel, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Wakakadash, the bonus to the elders of GMS, our teachers who taught us the truth and sincerity, um, risking their freedom in their life, they do so. Uh, salutations to you, Akio, out there, which is your brothers, that's also doing the same. So I'm just going to come to this quick lesson about uh, this is the shit hit the fan plan.com. And pretty much is a website about, you know, troubling times ahead, you know, current news updates, you know, your brother should check it out. But pretty much this is an article he just recently put up about this professor. You know, I don't, I didn't get into it, but apparently it's about <clears throat> a Georgetown professor named Christine Fair. Okay, and this is what she said. The title is Entitled White Men Deserve Miserable Deaths and Castration. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not to laugh, but um, <clears throat> we are, we're going to get this real quick. Um, you know, two that two. You know what I'm saying? Just to set up descriptions, but I'm going to read a little bit of little bit of it and then well I guess I can read the whole thing because it's not much and then we can get in the scriptures so it says Georgetown professor Christine Fair was suspended from Twitter on Tuesday after she wrote and posted that she believes entitled white men deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take their laps last gasp okay um Hold on, brothers. Let me just set up this another scripture because um, you know, uh, this is the time we're coming into. You see, so um, jumping back, it says, I read it again. Georgetown professor Kristen. Kristen Fair was suspended from Twitter on Tuesday after she wrote and posted that she believes entitled white men deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take their last gasp. Okay, well, let me get the description real quick. This is, um, this is Job 27 verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with God and the heritage of oppressors which is Esau, Edom, the sovereign white man, which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his kid, so this is the portion or the cup that the Lord is about to pass to the heritage of oppressors, meaning the seed or the children of the oppressors, because common thing among white people, so-called, is that I didn't do it. You know, I wasn't around at the time. My ancestors did it. But they left the heritage, okay? And you fall in the line because you don't try to make amends from which the wrongs that your forefathers did. So this is the portion that the Most High is about to give. Verse 14. If he, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. You see? So um, this professor is kind of prophesying. She said, entitled white men deserve miserable deaths. You see? So... And, you know, the funny thing is she's an Edomite too, so she is a child of the oppressors. And she's going to face the same fate that her men are going to fit. fit um, her men are going to have to endure the sword. She's going to face it too because she's an Edomite along with them. Okay? So it says, if his children be multiplied, multiply, it is for the sword. And if his offspring should not be satisfied, his offspring should not be satisfied with bread, then there's going to be a famine amongst them. Because you are the oppressors, and you've been oppressing the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for far too long. And God has a portion for you. And this is exactly what it is. Double of what we have to go through. And that's just the reality. And that's why all this evil and bad things are going on in this world today. It's because... The Most High is getting ready to, is visiting you now, but he's going to speed it up and intensify that visitation, you see? So this is uh, John 27 and 15. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. 
You see? So it should be considered a widow. It's mainly talking about his woman, aka the white woman. They're not gonna weep when a white man gets destroyed. Because a lot more of them are coming out and saying that the so-called white man need to be exterminated. <laughs> Which is stupid because that puts it into their race. But nevertheless, we're going to read on. It says, um, deserves miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take their last gasp. Okay, so that's a sign of hatred. And a white woman is starting to hate the so-called white man. Which we know, according to the curses, their eyes should be evil to their husbands. Okay, they're men in general. This is Deuteronomy 30 verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and all them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Now what what is one of the curses? That your I the woman or the children, the, the woman of our nation's eyes should be evil towards her husband. That's why the black man, black woman doesn't love the black man. That's why the Hispanic woman doesn't respect the, the, the Hispanic man. See, not to the same degree as the so-called black woman because Judah or the so-called Negroes is the head tribe. So we get the brunt of the punishment. But nevertheless, it affected all tribes. But the Lord said, I should put it upon these curses upon thy enemies. You see? And upon them that hate thee. Who hates us? The so-called white man. And which persecuted us. So to even further specify, I said, which persecuted now, what does it mean to be persecuted? Well, let's look it up. Persecute means subject someone to hostility or Ill, and Ill, Ill treatment, especially because of their race or political or religious belief. See, so we've been persecuted because mainly because of our race. You see? So it says, um, if you think that that was gruesome, fair ramped up the macabre tweet further calling for castration of their corpses. The tweet was directed towards Republican senators, fair wrote, look at this chorus of entitled white men justifying a serial rapist arrogated entitlement. All of them deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take their last gasp. Bonus, we castrate their corpse, corpses and feed them the swine. Yes? See, so the white woman is getting brazen towards the so-called white man. You see, you saw you know, And that's the curses that's performing. Them. So this is her exact tweet. Look at thus chorus of entitled white men justifying a serial rapist arrogant entitlement entitlement of all all of them deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take the last gasp bonus recastrate their course corpses and feed them to swine yes you see so it says twitter has suspended perhaps permanently banned account of georgetown professor c christian fair apparently due to this tweet, okay? So it says, uh, Fair made a brief comment to Fox News declaring boldly that her words were chosen to make her audience uncomfortable. She added that her tweet was private speech, meaning that it would be inappropriate for her employer to punish her for it. According to her, George, her Georgetown bio, Kristen Fair is a prov provost Distinguished associate professor in the security studies program within Georgetown University's Edmund A. Walsh School of Foreign Services. A Georgetown spokesperson confirmed that the university will not punish the private speech of Professor Fair, regardless of her object objectionable, how objectionable it might be. Quotation, our policy does not prohibit speech based on the person presenting ideas or the content of those ideas, even when those ideas may be difficult, controversial, or ob objectionable. The statement read, while faculty members may exercise freedom of speech, we expect that their classrooms and interactions with students be free of bias, 
geared towards thoughtful, respectful dialogue. And the only reason why colleges uh, are not firing this woman, first off, because according to the First Amendment, you're, you're allowed to write the free speech. And then second, they're more geared to making money off of the student debt okay, the student loans that these students take out for the school than the actual uh, literacy of the teachers or how much they know. So they're all about making money, man, and not getting sued. Because if they was to fire this lady, they would have got sued, you see? So it says, with Twitter choosing to suspend Fair's account over the horrific post, left this all becoming terribly upset that the very rules they created for censorship have come back to smack them in the face. <laughs> Why? Because, <laughs> they <laughs> because they're so gun hold about not censoring people and not destroying people's lives and what they say. But now they're trying to destroy this woman's life because they're trying to castrate this white white man. You see? You see, so um, it says, Glenn Greenwood, when I advocated that people be banned and censored, I meant people who said things against my political agenda, not in support of it. What has gone wrong here? The cry of censorship advocates for centuries, the people least compatible of learning basic lessons. You see, so this is what's going on. So this is... um. This is Nahum 3 and 19. There is no healing of thy bruise, right? Because America is in a bruised state economically, morally, you know, militarily. It's bruised, meaning hurt. Thy wound is grievous, and it's a very sore wound, and it cannot be healed. All that hear the brute of thee, now what is brute mean? You know, it says, boom. It says, all is All they that had a boot of thee. Uh, spread report or rumor widely. No, that's not what I want. A sound, especially of an abnormal one, heard through it. No. Brute, brute really means a noise, okay, or to roar, like in a form of anguish, okay, or pain. You know, let's look at the etymology. Let's look at the etymology of brute. Because words do get changed over time. You see, noise, uproar, it really means, it really means like of pain, like brute, to make noise roar, derived from now, okay? But it really means to like pain, they hear the brute of thee, should clap their hands over thee, meaning they hear the suffering of you, they're gonna, they're gonna celebrate. For upon whom have not their wickedness past continuing? And it looks like, you know, Professor Kristen Fair is like, you know, clapping over you. That's your suffering. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything is against you, so because your wickedness, you know. Uh, upon whom have not thy wickedness past continuing? So, you know, you deal wrong with everybody, even your own people and your women. So now they're like, you know, they want you to be hung and castrated. You see? So with that, I'm going to say show more.